everybody just thought I'd do a quick shop update um, of the latest pack I'm uploading um, I just have uploaded two tutorials or I put them in um, my random things because I wasn't sure whether I could put it as a tutorial if I was doing a experiment on someone else's tutorial maybe it will go into the tutorial pile I don't know anyway at the moment um, <clears throat> these were all the tea dyed stained papers tea dyed that I have so I made a kit from them all um, and I'm going to call it a mega bulk pack because look at all that listen to that how good is that how good does that sound anyway <laughs> um, what I've done is put them in and edited them and tried to get a, a good variety of colors and I've printed now I've printed some out onto this buff color I love printing on this because it gives it rather than just plain white copy paper this actually adds an extra vintage element so I'm just going to go through and show you how the pack looks so there's lined, there's doilies, lots of different doilies, all fabulous for collaging. Uh, this was my little uh, needle, cover of my little needle book that I made. So I'm just chucking that in there. I'm chucking in my things I can't live without that I uh, typewrite printed onto uh, the coffee, the tea stain paper and sewn. Of course, this is my little things I can't live without list. You could use one of these yourself and print your own up. One of these, I put that up. So I put it on the um, the dotted ones, which I've mentioned in the previous YouTube's um, Donna's little <coughs> YouTube to uh, make those handy, handy little hint that was. Um, so you could write your own little things I can't live without list and print it on one of these. So the way I do that is I can print this up, then I have a Word document with the print, print of words and then I just put this back in and go over it again. So it gets a double pass um, and that's how I did that other one. Okay, so there's a few different you know colors and intensities with the dotted ones this is the patterns of the plastic doilies that were in the top I love that I think I might work with that one today myself so so varieties through from yellow through to a more sepia so um plenty in this pack plenty 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 mega pack lots and now this is what happens if you print it onto a textury kind of paper with flex and colors it's just gonna have a bit of the bleed through of some of the coloring the flex same with this one so there's a few of those now this is the difference between printing it onto a white normal photocopy paper and printing it onto this bond kind of manila folder cover so I find that the highlights through here are a lot brighter and I don't think either is right or wrong. This is parchment paper, tea, tea st stained parchment. Neither's right or wrong. It's whatever you want to use, whatever your, um, uh, you know, what, whatever your project is. Completely up to you. So as you can see, there are a lot in this pack and you can choose what you want to print it onto. Uh, this was the butcher's paper. This is normal um, copy paper, it was the pattern. 
same with that. Normal writing paper, lined writing paper. So a couple of sheets there of writing paper. So that's a bit of a mega, mega pack there. Um, and I'll upload that today into my Etsy store and um, have fun playing. Have fun playing with that. Thanks for watching. Bye.